Hello guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you what I eat in a day while on Whole30. If you're not familiar with Whole30, I will put a link to the website below so you can get all the basic rules and information. But the gist of it is that for 30 days, you eliminate certain foods from your diet. All of the good stuff, you can't have bread, uh, carbs, rice, pasta, no cheese, that is the hardest one for me. So you eliminate them for 30 days and then after those 30 days, you slowly introduce them back into your life. So it's a good indicator of whether or not you have certain allergies or certain things are causing symptoms in your body or any kind of sensitivity. We really like to do this diet. There are also two other big rules. One of them is that you cannot weigh yourself for 30 days and you can't have sex with your pants on. This is our third time doing Whole30, and I gotta be honest, this time around, we're really doing it just to lose a few pounds. We have a pretty important photo shoot happening in April, and we both wanted to drop a couple pounds for it. We already know our results from the first time we did Whole30. I like this versus like a traditional diet because it doesn't have the negative things that my brain associate with typical dieting, like counting calories or constantly weighing myself. I did already have my breakfast, so I will go ahead and include that here. If you wanna see what I eat in a day, keep on watching, and I do just wanna say if you are here because you are browsing for Whole30 topics on YouTube, I usually do like beauty reviews and makeup tutorials. So if you're into that, do go ahead and subscribe and let's see what I eat in a day. And starting my breakfast for the day, I am just heating up some ghee in a skillet. I plan on making uh, a fried egg to top with what we made the night before. We did a little bit of meal prep. This is uh, some chicken sausage, some Brussels sprouts, and sweet potato. It's very filling for the morning. I always try to get some greens in for the morning and I find Brussels sprouts to be the most appetizing. I love this seasoning. It is called Earthly Delight and I added just a little bit of salt and pepper to my egg as well. And this is me praying that I don't drop the egg before I get it into this dish. All gone. Hey guys, so I just got back from Trader Joe's and I thought I would show you what I purchased while I put some groceries away. This is the third week of Whole30 for us. It just started. So by the third week, you get so tired of eating the same thing. So I got some weird, fun, specialty kind of stuff that you wouldn't find at other grocery stores. A lot of this is more like filler and snacks versus like our regular staples for the week. So starting off with this, very strange and bizarre, but it sounded good. I think the packaging got me here. This is watermelon jerky. It is dried watermelon watermelon and literally that is the only ingredient so I thought that might be good for like a snack or to help curb a sweet tooth a little bit and just grabbing a little out of order here I also picked up some almond flour you cannot have regular flour on Whole30 but this one is compliant these are such a staple for Whole30. I miss uh, pasta so much right now. This makes just such an easy meal. We already had zucchini noodles once or twice. I do have a spiralizer to actually spiralize the zucchini, but that takes so much time. So this is nice and quick, and they are a good price if you pick them up from Trader Joe's. You do get a lot in here. And this is just like an easy, quick meal. So throw some sauce in here, a little bit of meatballs or meat or veggies or whatever you want as a side, and this is a very easy, good staple for Whole30. This next one I have been craving. This was like my staple for the first time we did Whole30. I love it so much and I make a sauce out of it. This is vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Traditional pesto does have Parmesan in it, making it not compliant, but this one I could easily throw on top of those noodles that I just got, but I really like to mix it with a compliant mayo such as this one from Primal Kitchen. I mix these two together and it is delicious. It kind of replaces that creaminess that a lot of Whole30 recipes and foods don't really offer. So I love these two together and I will put it on everything. I got these from the frozen section, the chili lime and chicken burgers for an easy lunch or dinner. I have not tried these before, but I thought that we would go with some guacamole like it's shown in the picture or some peppers. So I definitely will be trying these soon just for a quick meal. And some more snack type things. I got a couple jerkies. Uh, these are for my husband for when he's at work. One is turkey and the other one is original, which I'm assuming is a uh, yeah, grass fed beef stick. A lot of traditional jerkies do have sugar added. These do not. My other favorite, oh, these are so good, and I have to tell myself not to eat the whole bag whether or not I am on a diet. This is Maricona almonds with rosemary. They are delicious. I got a couple more snacks. This is the Just Mango Slices. Literally, that's all that's in there. They are unsweetened. And then I could not decide with the plantain chips. This is roasted plantain chips, and this one's sweet plantain chips. Both of them are compliant, and I picked both of them up. 
And then a couple like seasonings and spices. This is the spicy brown mustard deli style. I also got the yuzu, yuzu hot sauce. I don't know what yuzu tastes like, but I believe it is more citrusy. And of course this one is going to be hot. I thought it would be something fun to try maybe on fish or on tacos with lettuce, lettuce tacos of course. And then I got the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. No bagels on Whole30. Ugh. <laughs> this is a green vegetable for some. Uh, broccoli, florets, peas, French green beans, and zucchini quarters. Thought that would be something nice and quick. Let me show it so that it's in frame. I also got these. They look delicious. This is cauliflower gnocchi. It's cauliflower and then also has the potato in there. I also got some shrimp. I just thought that would be fun to kind of change it up. This is Argentinian red shrimp. It is already uh, deveined and peeled. And then I got two types of their sausages these we love for quick meals again i could put them with those zucchini noodles chop them up have them with breakfast so i got spicy jalapeno and roasted garlic and lastly for beverages uh, i got some weird ones i got lemongrass and spearmint herbal flavored water I love lemongrass. I love the smell of it. So maybe I will like the taste of it. I thought it'd be a nice change up. I drink LaCroix and coffee and tea nonstop on Whole30. So I thought it'd be something a little bit different. I got some seltzer water. This one is a four pack and this is lemon and ginger. I also got aloe vera juice. I drink aloe vera like the flavored ones from the uh, convenience store regularly or from wherever, I can't remember the name of the brand that I usually like, but this was a much cheaper to buy this one. So I got this and then I also got some juice and I thought I would mix them together. This one is mango passion fruit. Juice is compliant on Whole30. They just don't want you drinking like glasses and glasses of it on the daily. So I thought I could either mix this with a little bit of seltzer water or some of that aloe vera juice just to give like a little bit of a different uh, beverage choice. Two more other things that I couldn't resist, uh, not Whole30. I also got some succulents. I keep buying plants and killing them, so I added another one to that list. And I also got a face sheet mask. I have several sheet masks, and I really like a lot of their skincare products and their body care products, so I wanted to try this out too. I will be back very soon to show you guys what I am making for lunch and doing some meal prep. Before having lunch, I decided to start making dinner. I'm using my crock pot today, which I love using. I love that I can just sit it and forget about it. So I am making some meatballs with sauce. Pretty simple recipe, just had some almond flour in them, of course meat and some seasonings. I put the recipe below in case you guys wanna try it because it was really good. We really liked it and we plan on having it over spaghetti squash. All that is going to cook and simmer on low for four hours and then it's time for lunch. And for lunch, I am just reheating up some of last night's dinner, which was honey Dijon salmon. It's a very good recipe, also linked below, and I'm having some spinach to go with it. It always makes me laugh how much spinach cooks down. It's like you use the whole entire bag and end up only having four bites in the end. Sauce is done. And then we just have to shred our spaghetti squash. Did Lucy like squash? <gasps> she does. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. Good meal. Well done. All right, guys. So that is what I eat in a day while on Whole30. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.